Hi, my name is Margo. I'm the pharmacist here at Island Drug, and today we will be talking about your heart works overtime for you, so return the favor, learning how to exercise on a busy schedule. Our objectives today are know the benefits of exercise, get started with a realistic plan for exercising with a busy schedule, and we're going to discuss some tips to long-term success. What are my blood pressure goals? The American Heart Association defines blood pressure as normal being less than 120 over 80, prehypertension being 120 to 139 over 80 to 89, and hypertension 140 over 90 or higher. What are my cholesterol goals? The American Heart Association defines blood cholesterol as your LDLs or your lousy cholesterol less than 100, your total cholesterol less than 200, and your HDLs or your healthy cholesterol in men greater than 40 and in women greater than 50. Today's topics are exercising on a busy schedule. Consequences of inactivity include obesity. About 65% of American adults are overweight or obese. This can cause an increase in Certain diseases, including diabetes, can cause joint pain and back pain, and it increases the risk for depression, cancer, sleep disorders, and breathing problems. It also increases the risk for heart attacks and strokes. The benefits of exercise, it boosts energy and lifts your mood, decreases sleep and worry, helps you sleep better and lose weight, it strengthens the heart and bones and helps you lower your blood pressure, raises your good cholesterol and controls your blood glucose. Recommended exercise goals include 150 minutes per week of moderate exercise, 30 minutes five days a week. And what is exercise? Anything that gets you moving, burns calories, and works up a sweat. The intensity of your exercise should be light exercise includes you can sing while you're exercising. Moderate exercise, you can talk while you're exercising, but you can't sing. And intense exercise, you can't talk easily or sing while you're exercising. Ask your doctor before you begin exercising. Tips for exercising on a busy schedule. Try exercising in small increments several times per day. Exercising 10 minutes three times per day is just as effective. And try working out 10 minutes before work, at lunchtime, and after work. Don't think of it as exercise. Think of it as sim simply increasing your level of activity. So let's rethink your definition of exercise. Taking the stairs when possible and park far from entrances. Exercise with a partner. Keep small weights or exercise bands near your desk or couch. Get up and move during every TV commercial. And always make sure you stretch. Stretch as much as possible. It raises your heart rate, decreases your risk for energy, and relieves muscle tension and stress. Add a five minute stretch to your morning routine on your coffee break or at lunch and count your steps. Aim for the ultimate goal of 10,000 steps per day or use a pedometer. Strength and band exercises. Best for stamina and flexibility. It's resistance exercises with bands, weight lift, lifting or yoga, or try sit-ups and push-ups in the morning and the evening. What if I don't want to be able, what if I don't know I want, won't be able to make it for 30 minutes? Start slow and go slow. Remember, you will also exercise benefits if you divide your time into two or three segments of 10 to 15 minutes each day. What if I have bad knees or a bad back? Focus on non-impact exercises, which raises your heart rate without causing strain on certain parts of your body. Swimming, water aerobics, yoga, and cycling. What if I cannot walk? Don't use it as an excuse not to exercise. Chair aerobics are an option. Also resistance bands that use chest pressure, rear deltoid row, and one-armed lateral raise. If I don't have time to exercise, make the time. 30 minutes a day means one less TV show. That it, that's it. If I don't like the exercise, find an activity to do that you enjoy. There are so many available. What if I don't live in a safe neighborhood and cannot walk outside safely? Join a gym or walk with a friend every morning in a safe public park. 
What if I don't have the energy to waste exercising? Exercising will give you more energy. Getting started. First, talk with your doctor. Choose an exercise that you enjoy and invest in good footwear. Always stay hydrated. Exercise with a partner or group. Motivation and accountability. Set a goal as a team. Reward yourself when you reach your goal. Dinner, such as dinner and a movie with an exercise group or new workout clothes or shoes. Tell everyone about your goals so they can support you too. So let's review. Take a minute to set your goals right now. Your goal should be 150 minutes of exercise each week. Think about how you're going to exercise, what days you are going to take off each week, what is your reward when you reach your goal, and what is your biggest obstacle? Will you be able to overcome it? Are you ready to improve your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, and lose weight? If you need a health coach to partner you, partner with your pharmacist to improve your health today. Healthy heart clubs include get the information and tools you need to monitor your progress, get encouragement and accountability as your pharmacist partners with you to reach your health goals, and partner with the most trusted healthcare professionals. Also, there are wellness kits. Each wellness kit contains Heart Healthy Club pedometer, body measurement tape, and Heart Healthy Club gym bag. How does it work? Your pharmacist becomes your personal health coach. Question pot time. Let's, if, if you have any questions, please come into your local pharmacy, come into Island Drug, and we can discuss your, your health care goals. And remember, there are no bad questions or answers.